Welcome to a new video on the topic of introducing us to systems biology. In this uh, video we ask the question what are the parameters? And this is uh, a very similar video and a follow-up video to the uh, to the other video with the similar question but on the states. So in that video we asked what are the states, now, now we ask what are the parameters. And it will be easier to understand this video if you listen to the previous video on states. And just as for that one, uh, the material uh, is part of the teaching material of ISP group and it's free to use as long as you say where it's from. And uh, this is part of our learning how to formulate a mathematical model from existing knowledge and the end goal is to um, uh, complete this first step which goes from some given uh, explanations and some given data to deciding which of these explanations that we can reject. So this is where we are in the bigger scheme of things. Okay so let's go through some basics for parameters and now we look again at the standard state-space description of a model and this one has uh, as before, the differential equations, the ODEs, and before we learned that x here were the states, uh, and in uh, the calculation of the derivative of the, of the states, we have some function f which depends on some parameters. It depends on states and depends on the input, but it also depends on some parameters. And these are one type of parameters. The other type of parameters are the initial condition parameters, x is zero, or simply just written like this. So the states at some initial time point, which usually is denoted zero. Doesn't have to be zero, but it's usually zero. Uh, and then the final type of parameters has to do with the measurement equation. So we, so we need to specify what we measure. Uh, and that is given by the function g, which again depends on the, the states. It may depend on these um, rate constants or these dynamic parameters. Uh, it depends on the input, may depend on the input, but uh, it may also depend on some completely new parameters which only appear in this equation. And those are the measurement parameters, Py. So to sum up, there are three types of parameters. The dynamic parameters, which may be rate constants, may also be other things like volumes or uh, thermodynamic properties or something like this. Um, the initial conditions and the measurement parameters, which usually are things like scaling parameters or offset parameters or something like this. So usually you collect these three parameters in a single parameter vector that you then want to have values for these ones. And this brings us to the next slide, which is to identify some uh, corresponding basic properties as we found for the states, now for the parameters. And uh, Whereas the, the states uh, were typically changing over time, and their time, de time dependency was given by the differential equation, parameters, on the other hand, they are usually to constant in time. So they don't have, um, they don't have uh, any time dependence. They may have, uh, but that's uh, an exception, I would say. Uh, it's, it's not the most common thing. And, and if they change over time, it's usually at a specific time point. And ideally, you should put that time dependency in the input, input u. But, uh, so the parameters are typically constant in time. And uh, just as the states, the parameters are usually not known. Uh, and they are usually not measured. They can be measured, but usually not. So we need to get the values for these uh, somehow. And a very common way in the systems biology is to get them from optimization. And we will talk more about how to do this in practice in later videos. So um, let's also turn to this control engineering view of the system where we have some inputs that affect the system and then we see the response of the system to these inputs on some specific things that we can measure. And these measurements, they are called Y. And then uh, just as the states were part of the inside of this system, the inside the box, the parameters are also inside this box. And um, the main difference here is that the states are depend on time, they are given by differential equations, whereas the parameters don't need differential equations because they are constant in time. Okay, so now let's go to the same three examples as before and let's ask the 
corresponding question, what are the parameters in these models? So, in the first example, we have these um, two differential equations, uh, and we had some additional information. And let's go uh, through these things, and let's look for these three types of parameters. So, um, we have them in different colors, so now when they appear, you will be able to recognize uh, which is which. And let's start with the p-axis. Uh, so the p-axis, uh, they are the ones that appear in the differential equations. And here, um, uh, we see here some rates, uh, and we see some things. We're basically looking for things that are not, that are not states um, or inputs. Um, and that leaves us uh, k1, which is the rate constant uh, for this rate here, and k2, which is the rate constant for this rate here. And here we say k1 again and k2. So k1 and k2 are examples of p-axis. Uh, and here you might ask, uh, what about this u? Isn't that the parameter? And in, in this simple introductory course, we will save the letter u, just as we save the letter y for, um, for, uh, for measurements. Uh, u is saved for, for an input. Uh, if we ha wouldn't have that convention, if we would uh, know less, uh, then uh, u would be a parameter as well. And in a, via and in a way you can u uh, you, the input as a parameter that is uh, usually changing over time, and you know how it's changed. Um, but for now, in these conventions that we're in now, it's only k1 and k2. And then we have the initial conditions, two states, so we have two initial conditions. And then here we have the measurement equation. So we measure k1, the first, uh, or x1, the first state, plus some unknown offset parameter here. So even if we don't have anything in the state, we will have some signal in the measurement. So um, here I should say that you shouldn't be fooled uh, by the fact that um, some of these parameters, or basically all parameters here, have, have uh, values. It's just they need to have some values in order for us to simulate them. So usually we give them some values just to get started, to get rolling. But then uh, um, we should keep in mind that these parameters that we give here, they are typically not final values, they are just guesses. Or, uh, so we, we need to update them somehow, typically using optimization. And I should also say that there is a subtle relationship between a state and a parameter. So here we could have a state which has the differential equation equal to zero. Uh, and then it would not change over time, but it would still be a state. Uh, so that means that uh, it's possible to reformulate a parameter into a state. So we could, for instance, take this parameter k1 here, and we could uh, write a new differential equation uh, for it, uh, which would be k1 dot equal to zero. And then this equation, which says the value for k1, uh, would be an initial, an initial condition. k1 for time point zero equals one. And then it would uh, still be one for all time points, so it would be this exactly the same behavior of the model, but the parameter would have been reformulated into a state. Okay, so let's go to the second model. Question is the same, and it's the same uh, model as uh, we had for the state. So we have two reactions, and here we have um, uh, specification already of the rates. And here we see we have two parameters, two kinetic parameters, k1 and k2. So this will be the p-axis. And we learned in the previous video that the states are um, not a and b directly, but it's the concentration or the amount, and here the concentration of, um, of these a, b, and c. Um, but now we also need to have these uh, two other types of parameters. So we need to, to specify the model further. To find all the parameters in this model, we need to specify the model further. So let's do that. Let's add some additional information here. Initial conditions and a measurement equation. And let's look for these three types of parameters. So uh, I already said that k1 and k2 were, um, uh, were um, uh, the p-axis. And then we have the initial conditions, uh, which here are this one and this one. And here you can choose which one you specify. 
uh, if you have specified that this is uh, that this one has this name, then you can uh, then you can just give it here. And here we should say that this one does not have an initial guess, so this one we certainly need for optimization. And then we have um, here a measurement equation, and uh, now we need to be a little bit careful because here we have a parameter k2, but k2 is actually a px parameter. So it's not a py parameter, it's a px parameter, because it is a rate constant. And therefore there are no new parameters. So we can measure the rate constant directly. There is no offset parameter, there is no scaling parameter. And um, let's, let's do some additional observations here as well. Uh, so um, here there is a, a sort of subtle difference between these these ones. Here they have initial values and here um, uh, they have gases. doesn't mean that it necessarily will have these values. We might still want to optimize them. But, but since they are written in, in different ways, uh, this would lead us to, su to suspect that this is the one that we want to optimize and, and these are, um, these are uh, ones that will have these values. Uh, and uh, when you differentiate between uh, parameter way, you differentiate between known parameters and unknown parameters. Uh, but uh, there you co you can't say that for sure. You need to uh, you need to know you need to look at optimization. Um, and and uh, I said this here uh, that um, that k two is not a parameter uh, or it's not a measurement parameter. Um, and uh, and, there, and I also want to say that uh, y hat, even though y hat is equal to k2, y hat here is not a parameter. Uh, it's it's a measurement signal. It's the thing that you measure, and it happens to be that the thing that you can measure in this particular case is the value of the parameter. But y hat is not the parameter; it's the measurement. Okay. Uh, so, let's uh, go on to the final model. Question is the same, what are the parameters? And the example is the same as before. So, now, uh, in the previous video, we learned that the states here were uh, the concentration or amount of x, y, and z. But now, in this um, interaction graph, this, this most simple way of specifying a model, we, we know basically nothing about the parameters. So we need to specify uh, lots of things to find the parameters. So the first thing we need to specify are the rates. So how quickly is V1 and V2 going? Here we see that this is some kind of michaels menten expression. This is some kind of mass action expression. And here we have um, the values that appear here. So these would be the px's, michaels benton constants, and uh, here just the mass action rate constant. And then we need to specify initial conditions of these three states and the measurement equation. And here we see this measurement equation. We can measure uh, the rate of the second reaction, so how quickly the second reaction goes, times some unknown scaling constant. Ky. And this Ky now is a, is a new parameter. Uh, it's not um, not one of the old parameters. So if you would write this up, it would be Ky times K2 times X2 times X3. So in, in this measurement equation, we have both a new scaling parameter, measurement parameter, and an old rate constant. Yes. So let's sum this up. We have um, uh, these three rate constants, the three initial conditions, and a new scaling parameter. So the short story of identifying parameters is look for these three types of parameters. And then uh, you need to be a little bit careful if there are no known parameters or not. But these are the ones you should look for. And then you need to decide afterwards, are they known or are they not known? But this is the way to identify which ones will appear in any case. Okay, that's it for this video.